Hey guys, another day. And uh, today I'm gonna try and make the vlog again short. I'm still working on, let's see, what have I got? I've got Matt's Reef Tank and the Matt's Reef Tank vlog that day. Then I have um, yesterday's video project and the video project video that I actually have to finish before, like before that episode vlog comes out, which is gonna be weird. And then there's today, so I'm a bunch of videos behind. So I'm gonna try and make this one pretty simple, but it is an interesting thing that has to do with my world tour. You see these, this is my trike, and these are my panniers. These hold, uh, these will hold everything from my computer to my clothes and, and uh, everything in between. And then of course I'll have the two side containers that will have my daily stuff like uh, the drone, camera, some food, uh, my phone, whatever. And uh, so the problem is that those are waterproof. Actually, these are awesome from a company called Arkel. Solid uh, and uh, extremely durable and waterproof. These are not waterproof. And they have covers that go over that you can put on during the rain. But when I had the accident, I was using these bags. And when my trike tumbled down the road, they, they ripped. So I'm gonna go to my friend's factory. I have a video about him, I'll link to it here. He makes some really awesome tents, uh, like three-point tents. Uh, the company's called Tensile. And uh, his tents are waterproof, obviously, because they have rain, rain shields and stuff. And he helped me last time create a rain cover for the trike, and I'm hoping that uh, his people can help me fashion some side, side bag covers. So we're gonna get in the car, and then I will talk to you later. <laughs> Tensile. Those tents are really, really neat. You couldn't see this, but I was able to find the original covers that I got in the accident with. And so uh, maybe I could just have them repair them, which would be cool. So this is the rack off of the trike. So this is their, uh, this is their product. It's very cool. It's a three-pointed tent that supports your whole body weight. It can go way, way up in the trees. They have some videos of people with these way, way up there. This one is a heck of a lot smaller than, uh, than other ones I've seen. Maybe they made a smaller one. Last time I was here, they had a huge one. Could fit like five people in it. Actually, I was gonna take one on a trip with me. The only problem is it's a little heavy because it has some pretty heavy uh, hardware. You have to find three, three points of contact. So you need one, two, three, and I was always worried that if I was on the road, I would have to find a specialty situation to get three points. I've said this before, and I'll say it again, I love factories. The fact that you can see something go from raw material to finished product, it's really cool. Pile of tents, twine being uh, assembled into the straps, sewing machines working hurriedly on, on covers, racks and racks of finished product, bags and bags of, you know, layered, layered uh, material. And on top of it, the owner is a really, really cool guy. So that makes it even better. Yeah, so this is the, this is the larger one. And this can be way, way, way up. And you can get in from underneath. You can actually have a, a ladder that hangs down so that you can access it from above. Very cool. Yeah, my friend's been in a bunch of uh, TV shows. Had a bunch of articles written about him. I don't know how big, but I think like National Geographic or something even featured his product. So it's very, very cool. It's good to see a, a good guy make something really cool 
and to have it become successful. <laughs> Basically, they're going to recreate my Arco bags, but more, more to my liking, which is very cool also. Everything's very cool. You ever wonder how they get really accurate shapes for this material for so many copies? They use one of these these things. It's like a like a hand-operated bandsaw made for cutting foam and layers and layers and layers of fabric. Like your jeans or your clothes were stacked up and I don't know how many you got here, but that's a lot of sheets. And so they stack them, stack them, and then the thing vibrates so fast that it cuts through this stuff like butter. Just and then those are the um, the blanks. You lay those out on top of all the material you're gonna cut. And then those are the same for every panel. She's doing my bags by hand though, which is pretty impressive. If you want something done right, have a Chinese factory make it. Make it the way you want it. Okay, so uh, I think she's finished. Let's put this thing together. So the original cover that I got from uh, Arkel, the company that I bought the bags from, had a few things that I'm gonna actually add on to. I uh, had them relocate this little ventilation pocket to the back because I actually wear my bags backwards. I flip them. Uh, I just like to wear them that way. And I'm gonna have them hook up some straps and stuff so they'll connect together. In the end, it'll be, it'll be very, very, very nice. I'm very happy so far. So let me tell you what we did. We um, worked together to improve on my existing design for these bags. Maybe if you're not a big cyclist, you won't be too into it, but I am into it. And this is my vlog, so you're gonna hear it. So the original bag basically wrapped around the pannier like this, and uh, they have a little ventilation piece right here. Basically, it's all the same as the last cover but changes on the inside. So this is the inside where this is kind of elastic. You can suck it in so that it kind of puckers around here as much as possible. But I always felt like water could get in if it was really windy and if I was riding through a lot of nasty weather. So I added a strap here, which clips here, and cinches. I also added a strap that goes across here and cinches. So now it's extremely um, protected, more than before. I also, on this bag in particular, this bag is designed to carry a tent. Like this tent actually straps onto the edge of the bag. And I was always bummed out because when I don't have a tent there, or if the tent isn't big enough, you end up having this big pucker. So I had them put a strap here too. So now, it's totally sealed. Now the other side is smaller. It doesn't have that tent area, but I can put a tripod on the end if I want to. I had them put a little tensile logo taping on there. But yeah, I did the same thing here, which is a strap from top to bottom, and a strap from left to right. This bag is totally empty, so it's not a really good example. We kind of stuffed it full of their tent material, but uh, 
Yeah, it's great. Even has a little pocket here to store some stuff. Very cool. She's gonna make me some really cool straps that I can hook on to my, uh, this is my luggage rack, where the bags hook on to. And like, I wanna be able to put a backpack or something here. And she has these really cool, really cool clips. And they clip right onto the frame like this. And so she's gonna create some straps that can clip and clip so that I can, you know, secure a bag or something to the top of my, uh, of my luggage rack and it won't fly away. Every time I meet with my friend, he always tells me, you should take one of my tents on tour. And I'm always like, it's a little bit heavy. Their lightest tent is 3.5 kilos. It's called a flight. I wanna see it, open it up. What do you think? It's a little bit small. But see, I could put my stuff on that side, and I could be here. Like, what a donkey play, Chinar, like Chile. It's very stable. But see, I could lay down here, I could put all my stuff here, and it would, it would fit here. Pretty cool though. It's unique. I don't know. A little bit heavy. A little bit heavy. I'm gonna weigh my tent that I have at the office. If it's not much, not much lighter than this, maybe I'll choose this. Anyways, I think my time here is finished. Got the bags I needed, got a couple of straps, and I got a lot of help from Tensile, the crew here. Thanks, guys. Hey, end of the day. End of the day. Annie got a haircut, but she just got out of the shower, so you're gonna have to wait for it. You can't see it. And Eva is feeling much better. Annie diagnosed her perfectly. She had, I don't know how to pronounce it, but she was sick for a few days, the fever broke, and then she got a rash. She has a, just a bunch of rash all over her body, but it doesn't seem to be bothering her. Right? Uh, hello. Mm-hmm, what else? So like, subscribe, share, comment, Jayo, and I'll see you tomorrow. She's tired. <laughs>